Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Well, as promised in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I use the Callista Air Glide Cool Breeze Hair Styler for my curls. And I will show you exactly how I got to this look. So if you wanna see how I did it, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're gonna be using the Callista Air Glide Pro Cool Breeze Styler. It's a beautiful styler, very pretty. Um, it comes in a couple of different colors. I got this from QVC. Um, you can always rely on QVC for quality products. I have, I swear by QVC, but Callista, um, is a hair stylist and she sells a lot of her products on QVC. So I saw this one a few months ago. You can use it to curl and you can also use it to straighten. So it goes up to 430 degrees. And for my thick hair, I use it at that highest heat, but you have several choices for lower heat if your hair is not Thick like mine. So we're going to get into it. My hair is about three days old. I washed and blue dry it and have been curling it. Well, I actually curled it one day and yesterday I just put some cream in it and just kind of loosened out the curls. So today it's it really needs a refresh on my curls. But um, it looked great yesterday, like very natural. And you can do this right after you blow dry your hair and you get it nice and dry and you can go through this process. Now it's a little bit loud, it's got air. So these holes here that you see, has air coming out and that's what helps to keep the hair shiny, keep the hair um, in good shape. And it's not as loud as a blow dryer, but you will hear it. What I'll do is I won't, I'll silence the video as I'm showing you how I curl my hair so you don't have to listen to that, but I will let you hear it in the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair, but I'm only gonna do three sections because when I want a curl, I don't want a lot of tight curls all in the hair. So I'm just gonna do three sections, even though normally when I straighten my hair, I do about five sections, but I'm just gonna take it above my ears, leave the bottom, and then I'm just gonna give it a little twist and use my clip to just hold that part of the hair out of play, out of the way. And then I'm just gonna um, separate it in the back. So I get two sections here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start curling. So um, you see that you have this power button here, and when you first turn it on, it's at the lowest setting. So you can hear what it sounds like. So what, so what I'm gonna do is put it to the highest setting. and it's gonna blink until it's at the proper heat. All right, so <clears throat> it stopped blinking. So what I'm gonna do is take some sections and I'm gonna take some pretty decent sections of hair and then I'm gonna take, then I'm gonna take my curling iron, my wand, I'm gonna open it up and put it at the top of the hair. And then what I'm gonna do is when I curl, I'm gonna be going away from my face and I'm gonna really wrap it around good. And then I'm just gonna kind of leave a tiny little bit out at the base. And then, you know, I leave it on for a, like at least to the count of 10, because again, my hair is coarse. It doesn't curl easily and I'm gonna just leave it on. And then when I'm ready to take it off, I'm just gonna sort of open it up and let it come down. So I'm not like, I'm not pulling it. I'm just giving it some freedom to come out. So you can see I'm taking a pretty decent size um, bit of hair. I'm coming right up to the top and I'm gonna go all the way around and let it, sit on my hair for a minute. Not a minute, like 10 seconds, because it does curl really well. 
So I'm just going to do that, finish this side. I'm going to do that side. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to take down the next section. And again, when I'm doing this side, again, going away from the face, come right up at the top there, kind of pull it down a little bit and go away from your face. Loosen it up and just bring it down. Okay, now I've got the bottom done. I'm gonna take the next section. I'm gonna take the top and just sort of give myself a little bit of a section here. Do the same thing, just gonna put it in a half and then start doing the same thing with this section of hair. Come right up to the top, come down a little bit, and then go away from the face, leaving a little tail end out there. Making sure I have everything at the back of my head. So many times I see people that didn't do the back of their head, their front looks great, but you got to make sure the back and that you do that by really checking in the mirror. When you're all done, hold a mirror up, look in the back, make sure it looks the way you want it to look. So I'm going to get this whole thing done and then we'll work on the top. So I'm going to get the top section now and I'm just going to kind of let it fall where I would want it to fall in terms of the part. And then again, I'm just going to take sections and we're going to do the same thing again, going away from the face. And when I get up here, I'm going to come down a little bit because I obviously don't want tight curls at the top of my head. And I'm just going to do um, this all the way around the top. You can see that it doesn't take long with this tool to get a beautiful curl. And it glides right through your hair. It really, really does. It's a great, I love this tool. And we'll do another section here. So it, if you wanted to straighten your hair, you would just do that all the way down. But obviously, I'm not straightening. And it does work well as a straightener. last little section here together and the trick really is to leave that tiny little piece at the end out that's what gives you this type of curl you know and gives it that little bit of bit at the end and then I'm going to do the same thing with this side, again, going away and taking a little bit at the top and going straight down and then curling it around. And 
And I could really do this all as one piece here. There we go. All right, now I think I have a couple of like strands here that I will just get and just kind of give them a good, like a little once over. And I'll check it with my mirror just to make sure I don't need to touch up anything back there. You can see that's kind of a stubborn little piece here. Doesn't want to curl, so we'll give it another shot. <laughs> all right, looks like that's about all I'm gonna get out of that one. And then you just press and hold the power button and it shuts off. All right, so what I wanna do is I want to sort of separate the curls and give the curls a bit of a shiny soft look. I don't want these harsh, harsh curls. So what I'm gonna be using is this Redken Frizz Dismiss Spray Oil. All I'm gonna do is kind of give the ends a little bit of a spritz with this oil. It will soften the ends. And then I'm just gonna come in and kind of separate the curls. I don't wanna do anything too radical cause then I will flatten them. But I just wanna loosen them a little bit, separate them out. Do it all the way around kind of give some air to them. All right. And like I said, you don't want to go too crazy. And so now what I'm going to do is I want to keep the curl. I want to keep it looking good for the day. So I'm going to give a little bit of hairspray. And what I'm using here, I love this spray. I picked this up from the salon. It's Redken 12 Medium Hold brushable hairspray and this is nice i've been using this all week you know from when i blue dry my hair and did my first style and you saw today i brushed it out and it wasn't crisp crispy i hate that feeling of crispy hair from hairspray this does not do that so all i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a light spray and then i'm going to sort of make it look the way i want it to look give it a little bit more bounce and sort of put it in place. And I usually just like sort of puff up the back a little bit and then I wanna make sure I'm not all over the place with hair sticking up all on the top. And again, you don't want to mess too much with it. All right, guys. So that's the finished look. Natural looking, fun. It'll come out different every time you do it. Sometimes a little bit of a tighter curl. Like you can see, I don't really, it's kind of loose here and not as curly, but it gives it more of a natural look. Um, but you can make the curls, you can use less hair when you're curling, that will give you a tighter curl. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some tips. I hope you will check out this Callista um, Air Glide Cool Breeze Styler. I will link it in the description section below. I think um, 
if you want to have an easy way to give yourself some curl or to straighten out your hair with the same tool, you don't need multiple tools, this is the one that's gonna do it for you. It's not a sponsored video. I just did a video a few weeks back and I got some comments that people wanted to see how I did my hair. So that's why I'm showing you this and that's why I'm showing you that tool. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you will leave me a comment in the comment section below what you think of it, if you'll give it a try, if you have any questions, I would be more than glad to answer them for you. So take care everyone. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.